Fingerprints, face scanners, iris readers. Just a decade ago, all these seemed like the stuff of movies. Spy movies. Ever seen a fingerprint gun in an action movie? The one that only fires when it scans the owner's finger? Yeah, that's real now. Biometric security has become so common that we get annoyed if our face ID doesn't work on the first try. And if spies use biometrics on their guns, surely it's secure enough for your phone, right? Not exactly. The good news is that if someone wants to break into your phone, they won't have to chop off your finger. The bad? Hacking biometrics is way easier than removing limbs. Even if your fingerprints belong to you, that doesn't mean your biometric data is private. Your selfies online, street surveillance footage, and hundreds of signed documents all provide a cornucopia of biometrics. And it's not like biometrics are unhackable. While the data you use to unlock your phone is hard to get a hold of, never forget, recorded data is hackable data. But is your fingerprint at least more secure than a password? Probably not. In 2014, hacker Jan Starbug Chrysler proved this when he used photographs to recreate the fingerprints of the current president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. He could theoretically have unlocked her phone if he had access to the device, unless she used a password. The worst part, you can change your password, but not your fingerprint. Don't switch off your biometrics just yet. While biometrics on their own are not foolproof, using them as part of a multi-factor authentication can greatly improve your security. Just remember, take a second to think about security risks before opting in. And use biometric data for two-factor authentication along with strong passwords. Stay safe.